Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Knox Sinclair. So this is a little three pin case for the notebook um, slot as well, and it's from an American company based out of Georgia called Knox Co. Um, it's a project of, if you ever listened to the, I believe it's the Pen Attic podcast, Brad Dowdy's part of it, and he also has uh, another partner um, who assists him with designing and making these. They've been around for a little while, and um, they have a very good reputation. I picked this one up at the Atlanta Pen Show. So um, let's go ahead, and it'll be kind of a quick review on this one, because it's a pen case, but we'll go ahead and go over um, kind of my, my thoughts and feelings on this. So first up, I love the color. They have some fantastic color schemes. Um, I really like, they have a blue one with a pink zipper that I really like, but on the inside it's like lime green, and I hate that color, so I didn't get that one. Um, this one's really nice. It's kind of this orange with black. And on the inside, it has this um, kind of dark gray color. <clears throat> really, really nice zippers. Um, they haven't got stagged or anything like or anything like that. It's it's nice. The material is is pretty soft actually, even though it looks pretty coarse. Um, very plush, very durable. You open it up and you have your three pin pouches, a notebook pouch, and there's also a center spot in case you wanted to put you know some more stuff down there. Maybe some ink cartridges or a spare converter. Or um, maybe an ink sample vial in between the pens. You could possibly do that. But um, I currently have a Conklin Duraflex, a Pilot Machier Classic, or Platinum Machier Classics, and a Lamy 2000 in here. I haven't had any issues with any of my pens fitting. Um, for example, the Conklin, um, it, sorry, it was calling a clip. Um, it has no issues fitting in there, and it's a it's a pretty large pen. Um, Pelican fits in here just fine, which is probably the biggest pen I have. Um, Twiz BVAC 700, which is probably one of the longer pins I have, fits just fine in here. No issues fitting any pins in here. It also holds a uh, kind of a standard notebook. Um, this is a Story Supply Co. notebook, but it, it will fit this about the same size as like the field notes. Um, so any notebooks about that size will fit just fine in here. Um, you could probably honestly fit two, but um, one's enough for me. I keep it in there um, for two reasons. One, so I have an extra notebook in case mine runs out, but also um, just for padding. Uh, the the case is fairly plush, but um, you know, just in case, it's nice to have it there. It is very well constructed. There are no fit and like fit and finish issues at all on this. Um, no loose. Um, oh gosh, what's the word? Not wires, not cables, threads. I, I deal with. Um, technology stuff too much. Um, there are no loose threads or anything like that on this. It's it's very well constructed and it feels just fantastic. That's the biggest thing for me is the construction quality. It's great. The liner on the inside is much, much softer than the outside. This has zero chance of scratching your pens. It has a little lip here to protect um, from water if any of that happens to get into your pen case, which it most certainly should not. Uh, but just in case, you never know. Or um, I just thought of this. Conversely, if you have this zipped up and your pen starts to leak, it won't get out in the rest of your whatever you're carrying this in. Um, this fits just fine in the pocket of my bag, like perfectly, with about this much sticking up. So I can reach in there and get my pen, and I know which pen I'm going for. Um, and it, it's it's perfect for me. Um, it can, if you take the notebook out, just to reduce the rigidity, it can easily easily fold down. You can see the not co tag in there, uh, black and gray or black and white with kind of gray polka dots, and you can you can really really get there's a lot of um, a lot of versatility for this case. You don't have to put a notebook in here, but that's just generally what it's what it's for, and uh, I found that's the best approach for me. Um, there isn't really anything that I feel. Oh, the the price um, is a little eh. Um, it's $40. Now that's fine for me. I don't regret purchasing this at all. It is very well constructed. It's amazing and I love it. I I would very easily buy another knock pin case if it then if the need arose. Um however, I think for $40 a lot of other people are going to have issues because it's a pen case. Now some people will spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on pens, and those people will likely buy decent pen cases. But for the people buying, you know, your Gen House Shark pen, they're not going to go after this pen case. This, it's just not, uh, I, I don't think so. So I think um, 
If this were priced a little bit lower, maybe around 30, 35, it would be a bit more compelling, but that's just me. Um, again, I don't have any gripes with this. I, I think it's a fantastic, fantastic case and completely worth the $40. Um, they're made in America. For a while there, they were manufactured completely in Georgia. I'm not sure if they still are or not, um, but they were kind of made by just those two, but production obviously gets out of hand and things like that. Um, but they do have a website. You can check out all of their designs. They don't just have this one. They have a lot of different options. They even have a, uh, a sort of briefcase thing all the way from that to a small little pen envelope that holds index cards and maybe a pen. So there's a lot of options. So if you like this design, this construction, this kind of aesthetic, I definitely recommend checking out their stuff. Um, they have some very, very interesting designs, and I think there's just about something there for anyone in the pen community, or even if you're not into pens and you want to carry other stuff. Um, it's just a nice, well-constructed, durable little pouch. Um, I've been carrying this for, let's see, about four months now, and there's no wear and tear. I carry it with me every single day. No wear and tear. Um, I haven't noticed any issues with any discoloration or anything else like that. It's very durable. It's very nice material. And I can't recommend this enough. If you if you need a pen case, specifically a three pen and notebook configuration, go pick this thing up. It's it's just astounding. They did great, great work on this. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like what you saw here, feel free to check out my other videos. I will have some more pen case videos coming up. Um, just because they're small, they're quick, I use them a decent amount, so I can knock them out. I'm going to kind of try to spread them out for you, though. But thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And um, see you later. Bye, guys.